Hello there and welcome back to Imola, home circuit of the Scuderia Ferrari. We expect to see a lot of local supporters in red today. They've all turned out for what we have every expectation of being a sensational event here at the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. 3.1 miles of track here at Imola featuring 19 turns, 9 to the right and 10 to the left. Remember that Imola differs from most other Formula 1 circuits as it's driven anti-clockwise. Let's hope no one forgets that today. The exit from turn 18 will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes, leading as it does into the longest straight of the circuit and its only DRS zone. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Ocon, Sainz, Pierre Gasly and Ricardo, Rees, Norris, Lundgaard and Lance Stroll, Giovinazzi, Sonoda, Fernando Alonso and Drogovic, Matsushita, Aitken, George Russell, and Mick Schumacher, Joe, Latifi, Mazepin, and Louis Delatraz. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Okay, welcome back. As you just saw the grid order, uh, our teammate qualified second on the pole. We qualify 7th on the pole. We are in Italy at Emula Track. It should be a pretty good race. It's sunny, of course. And uh, not to toot my own horn, I, I can do good at this track. Um, just ran into a couple of issues in qualifying. Uh, I'm looking for a button here. Bear with me. All right, car is set up. Hard as possible. Fuel is good. All right, guys, let's see what we can do. Just want to stay out of trouble. Settle into a pace. Be conscious of what's around us. Brakes are cold, tires are cold. part of the track there. I think if we're going to lose it, that's where it's going to be, unfortunately. Information awesome from Ricardo. Track. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Really fast, flowing corners. Tricky 
hard to track again for me at least. this lap we can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. The trouble up front. Gonna make a move, keep it clean. Put a tap right there. Fantastic. Sounds Two good. cars at once. Very well done. Part of that was not being able to stop the car. I must admit. This is a very low downforce track. Somebody's making the move, I felt the bump. Sonoda of all people are trying to make the move. I have DRS, they're fighting up front. We're not going to fight them, it's too early in the race. I am going to stay on my ground. Oh, come on guy. Fighting early. Four race update. P11, we're currently P11. Sonoda is ahead of you. Less than a second separate you. They're on fresh softs. Alonso behind. The gap is less than a second. They're on fresh softs. The gap to the leader is 10.8 seconds. You have four laps till your pit window opens. 13 laps to go. All right, let's see if we can get the DRS on Sonoda. I feel we can. We're close. There it is. Rear wing open. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Let's see if we can outbreak them, if it's safe to do so. Yep, we got them. Confirm change. Understood, copy that. Moved up another position. He's coming back to fight. Next on the list is Ricardo. He's supposed to have engine trouble. Let's see if we can get him on the brakes. Yep. Brilliant. Nice move. We're up to P8. Eighth position out of 22 cars. Lap 5 out of 16. We're going to chase down Lungard and the Mercedes. Gap to car in front is 1.6 seconds. Teammate status. We're trailing our teammate by 8.7 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're in second. The time last lap was a 
approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. a bit of battery power to catch up to the pack. Don't want to use too much. The tricky part of track here. For a race update. Eighth place. You're in eighth place. Lundgaard is ahead of you. Okay. Gap ahead is 1.1 seconds. They're on old softs. Stroll is behind you. Okay. The gap behind is 3.1 seconds. They're on old softs. Our gap to first place is 11.3 seconds. Oh, 11 seconds. Looks like we're catching the Mercedes. Use a bit of battery power to keep up with them. This part of the track is too tricky for me to attempt to pass. Just not comfortable with it. I know the straightaway is coming up and I can possibly get his DRS. Yeah, I'm definitely within a second behind him, which means my rear wing is going to open. There it is. Hit window open. Let's box this lap. Engine is screaming. We made the move stick. Turn the battery off. All right. Oh, he hit me. Pit stop information. Only one stop to go, one stop left in this strategy. Your pit window is open, pit window is open. Box this lap. Right, come in at the end of this lap. All right, we're gonna go in to the pits, change our tires to the medium tire. We're seventh place. Lap nine of sixteen. All right, Verstappen, Akon, myself, Stroll are all in the pits. Looks like a lot of the cars were on the same strategy. Go, go now. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this ground.
Okay, our teammate is in the pits. Four race update. 14th position, you're in 14th position, Ocon is ahead of you, our gap to the car in front is 8.7 seconds, they're on fresh mediums, stroll behind, the gap behind us is 5.6 seconds, they're on fresh mediums, pit strategy complete, see these tyres through to the end now, 7 laps to go. Alright, hopefully we can jump some cars, we're 14th, alright. We jumped a few cars, we're back to 8th place. With 5 laps to go. Teammate ahead is 9.3 seconds. Driver in front. Signs is ahead of you. The gap to the car ahead is 6.4 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. The time last lap was a 1 minute 40.1. Gap to car in front is 5.8 seconds. Ooh, almost lost it there. Five laps of fuel remaining. Alright, they should have DRS, that's why they're catching us so fast. We're gonna try and block the inside, but he's too fast. Nope, he backed out of it. And we live to fight another day. Barely see the pack up ahead. Some battery power to get away from it. Ahead is 4.6 seconds. Okay, so we took two seconds out of the uh, pack. Two laps to go. Driver in front. 
Signs ahead, our gap to the car in front is 4.4 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Their tyres are two laps old. The time last lap was a 1.18.9. 1.2 seconds advantage per lap. Using every bit of track plus battery power. I have one more lap to catch them. There's three laps of fuel remaining. And they're just in sight, they're getting closer. Can't keep making mistakes like that. <gasps> Almost lost it there. Oh, the tires are gone, I'm sure. So close now. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. You've lost some time to the car behind. So we're still going to be close because science is just ahead of me. So the two championship leaders are going to be 6th and 5th. The gap to the car ahead is 2.3 seconds. Okay, you need to give that position back. That was an illegal overtake. And the Merc was able to take right, the position, take made a mistake, the the jumped the curb, exceeded track limits, had to give the place back. Victory for the team from Milton Keynes then, after a quality performance. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. Today's performance means Max Verstappen now owns the top spot in the Drivers' Championship. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. 
he was definitely my driver of choice. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Red Bull take over as championship leaders. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. Okay, so you, as you can see, Red Bull got the race victory. Our team, Leclerc, came in second. I came in fourth. Uh, Red Bull leads the championship. Ahead of me, 15 points. Ahead of my teammate by nine points. But uh, it's definitely not over. It's early in the season. This is only round three. There are seven more races left. And... Uh, Red Bull has also snatched the uh, Constructors Championship. We are down nine points there. So, next race. I just want to find out where next race is going to be. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Your teammate had a great race today and was rewarded with a podium. Do you have any comments on their performance? Yeah, they put in the effort and they got the result it was also a solid performance for the team I can't fault it they unlocked every bit of performance all right your teammate beat you today was it a setup issue or well something they else? really like to rub it in he drove much harder and the car didn't buckle under pressure but neither did mine I wouldn't say it's my loss but their win I can't take that away from them I think their setup made better use of arrow. I mean, he worked hard for it. I, I can't fault him for that. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Uh, I didn't hit anyone. Yeah, none of us want to back down. These things will happen, unfortunately. I was not a magnet today. Yeah, that's just racing. Appreciate your time. Morning boss, this week's income from the sponsors has cleared and we're making good profit against our running costs. Okay, I think I'm happy with these sponsors for now. They're paying out good money, so we're going to keep them. We're going to renew their contract. So the next race is in Canada, which is also another fast track. We should do good there. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.